Hi, this is Richard, and welcome to another episode of Making Something from Nothing. And what we're going to be doing today is I need to take apart one of these bearings for use in a longer term lathe project to make another one of these, which is a steady rest for the lathe. But the hole for me to put stock through is only three inches and there's going to be occasions where I need to hold bigger stock so I'm going to go ahead and use one of these outer races of one of these bearings most likely this one here today and we're going to be taking this apart sticking it in the blacksmith forge we're going to heat it up to red hot to try and soften this steel and then just let it cool down and see if I can machine it afterwards two sets of uh, ball bearings in here one on this side and one on that side so let's go ahead and take this guy apart and see how successful we are at doing that. Well, taking apart this bearing is going to require just a, a couple of simple tools you might have around the shop. Screwdriver or two. A clamp or two. And a pair of uh, vice grips. So to get started, these little plastic cages will pretty much pry out and I don't care if I break it because I'm not reusing this bearing and that pops right out we'll go ahead and pop out this side too So now we got our ball bearing. Now, how do we get them apart? First thing we got to do, or you have to do, if you're going to take a ball bearing apart, is you have to put all the balls together. It's kind of like a Rubik's Cube. You do all the right things and it all falls into place at the end. So we've got all those together. And now we have to put all these together on the same side. Now since I have two sets of ball bearings here, I have to make sure they're pretty much about in the same position. I don't know if you could see that, but I've got them pretty much in the same position here. Well, the secret to getting this apart, now that I have all the balls over on the one side, is to go ahead and pull this ring to fill this gap over here, which will separate it from the balls and hopefully be able to start pulling some out. So, let's do that. So I'm just going to use uh, one of my clamps here. And I'm just going to start pulling this ring this way. And it's starting to come. Okay, now that i got some pressure on it, can at least move the balls around a little bit, but we still got a little bit more room to go. So I'm going to keep cranking on this, try and get as much room in there as I can, and then I'm going to come in with the vice grips and see if we can't give it the final touch here. And you don't want to be sticking your fingers in there in case the clamp breaks or something, be having a bad day. and something like that. You do not want to stick your fingers in there, trust me. So 
So we get all the ball bearings out of the one side. And these come in handy for other stuff too. So we got side one done. Now we're going to have to work on side two. Well, this is pretty much it for the bearing disassembly. But if you want to stick around for the blacksmith forge and me annealing this and seeing if we could machine it, I suggest you stick around because that's next. And that's how you take apart a big bearing or a small bearing. Okay, well, before I get started with this forge, I just want to let everybody know I've got my two windows open here in the shop. I've got my two two-foot by eight-foot shop doors wide open, so there's plenty of ventilation. I appreciate everybody concerned about my health and all, but uh, it's perfectly safe. You haven't seen my video on how I made this thing. I made this uh, forge myself. I encourage you to go check it out. It's a pretty nifty device. Okay, looks like we're ready to go here. What do you say we like this sucker? Well, I'm going to demonstrate how well insulated this forge really is. Extremely well insulated forge. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and let the uh, steel air cool. Hopefully you all can see that, right? Well, as I told you at the beginning of the video, this is a, a longer term project, so I'm not going to be completing the uh, center rest today, but this is all interesting stuff, and I thought everybody might like to see it. My forge video seems to be the most popular on my channel, so why not let everybody see how it works? Well, it's been about two hours since I pulled it out of the forge, and we're going to slap one of these in the lathe and see if it machines. Looks like the metal took a beating, hopefully enough to soften it. Well, let's throw it in the chuck and see what we got. seems to run pretty true so it didn't get distorted getting heated up Well, it looks like it machines, so I'm going to call this a success. 
So keep an eye on part two, three, or four, whatever it's going to take to do this long-term uh, lathe project. Well, it seemed to have machined pretty nicely, so I'm very happy.